I don't think it is, though, because it looks like this is the Garden of Eden, right? Doesn't this place look like it's the Garden of Eden? Like I said, it's a beautiful place, but they've made it into a prison. They've made it into a place like that, into an ugly place. Billions of people think that they live on a ball, okay? For example, okay, for example. So, we are creators. We create with our minds. We create, okay? Things are not already written out. Or no, you create your reality. You create it. It's a deep thing. You have to understand that. So, if people think that they live on a spinning ball, that's what everyone all at the same time is creating okay that's what i mean by we are creators because everyone at one time at the same time for example let's pretend everyone's thinking the same thought at the same fucking time billions of people are thinking the same thought at the same time that's what's gonna create come into fruition so that's why we're focusing our thoughts and intentions into heaven on earth to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of everybody to release everyone from bondage of time and money of all these viruses the virus of money the virus of time the virus of abc one two three all these different viruses right that shouldn't be we shouldn't be limited on time oh i gotta hurry up because i got this and i got that like why why can't you just enjoy and feel like time is standing still you know, I felt once like time was standing still and that felt really nice. No worries. There's no worries. Absolutely none. It doesn't exist. Worries don't exist. When time is standing still, this is the land of the dead. This is where people grow old. This is where time is ticking fast. You know? I think that as you get closer to the center, that's where time completely stands still. As you get closer, like, that's why you can drink from the living waters, become eternal, you know, your birth into this place by your mom, I get it now, your birth into this place by your mom, you're going to be birthed out in the vortex or something in the center, no, it's not suicide, I don't want to hear that shit, okay, I told you this is a deep thing, So if, it's, if, if you don't understand it, if you're not grasping it, it's okay. Move along, continue what you are doing, do you, be happy doing you. Forget this, forget you ever heard this, keep going. It's not for you. I'm not looking to convince people, I'm looking for the ones that understand it and get it. Those are the ones we need, find the others. So we can get the fuck out of here. I start recently started looking up cartoons. Cause they put things in plain sight, you know, like um they hide where is the best place to hide things? in plain sight because why because you would think oh it's hidden it's hidden it might be behind that or behind that or inside of this or no it's it's probably like right there in your face but you're looking for it inside of something or behind something where really it's like right there and that's what they do they put it in the cartoons they put it in the move in the movies I, I i i have a few cartoons that i found it's in the Smurfs, Popeye, Little Lulu, it's in um, the Pink Panther, it's in um, Tom and Jerry, it's in, it's in everything. As a child, you believe, right? It's, you're easy, it's easier for you to believe when you're a child because you're fresh, you're learning and everything, right? So they put it in the, the, in the cartoons and children are like, wow! And then they probably tell their parents and their parents are like, that's not true. It's just a cartoon, it's not real. So the child dismisses it, grows up thinking, oh, it wasn't true, it was just a cartoon. 
because the adult already lost their imagination. Not all adults, though. It's kind of like you have to be a child again. Have the imagination of a child so that you can get these things. It's a deep thing. So here comes the adult that already lost their imagination. They're too deep into the indoctrination, the brainwashing. They're too, they're too, like, they're too deep because they've already been, they've been paying too many bills too long. They didn't have fun. They couldn't have fun. They lost their childhood because they had to grow up so fast in this world. That's crazy. People want to grow, little children want to grow up so bad, right? Why? Because they want to be able to do this and do that and la 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 and get into this and get into that. Because oh, I'm not allowed to do this and I'm not allowed to do that because I'm a child. Do you really want to do that though, you know? It's not even safe. It might not even be safe. And then when you grow up and you realize, dude, like, I want to be a child again because this shit is hard. All I do is pay bills and work. If you're not working at a job, you're working at home, you're still busting your ass. It's hard. It's hard raising children, you know? It's not easy. It's a 24-7 hour job for women to raise your child, you know? And it's not easy to have to go to a job and be like incarcerated. You have no time. You have no time for yourself to grow, to come up with ideas, to like free yourself, you know? So they put it in plain sight right there for the children. Uh, yesterday I found um, a, a, a movie, it's called The Fountain. I made a, I made a little review on it too. There's a few more, there's another movie. If you guys know what it is, let me know. So it's this, it's like this giant that jumps into the lake, and when he jumps in, he ends up like upside down. But once the scene comes up to him, he's right side up. Then the, it goes back to the scene of the child. The child runs behind him and jumps in. He ends up right upside down, but then the scene changes and then he's right side up. I don't remember what. I don't know what movie that is. I don't know what movie that is. But I need to find out because it seems like an interesting movie. It seems like a very interesting movie. But yeah, I mean, this is the reason why we are constantly saying, hey, the earth is flat, because, okay, now we get it, the earth is flat, okay, but now what? I don't hear a lot of people that believe in the flat earth and the firmament believers, there's a firmament above, I don't hear them talking about the center, like, aren't you curious to know what's at the center? Don't you want to know? There's a big reason why they hid the flat earth the firmament there's a reason the reason is the center there was a big tree of life i don't know how they cut it i don't have the answers to everything don't ever take my word for it or anybody's word for it you go do your own research do your own research but what is my own research what does that mean why do i have to do research i can just listen to nasa and all these other things no that's not doing your own research you have to question things do go do your own questioning. Come up with your own ideas. How do you determine your truth? How do you determine truth? Just by taking in what other people tell you to be real? How do you determine truth? Don't you use your senses? Do you have any? Do you trust yourself? Go do some research. We need 144,000 people. But why do I have to place a drop of blood on the on, on, on the piece of paper? That's satanic. That's evil. Oh my god, it's a cult. No, it's not. What is satanic about it? What is evil? How is it a cult? We don't meet with anybody. We don't hurt anybody. We don't sacrifice animals. We don't, we don't hurt ourselves. You can cut yourself shaving. You can cut yourself when you clip your nails. And ow, I, I think I broke my skin. Women have a period. I mean, things happen. 
put it over your intentions, it's kind of like sealing it. That's like your signature. Your DNA is in your blood. The life is in the blood. Who you are, everything about you. You put it on the ether. The ether is the computer. It's the other element. It's another element. Look up Tesla. Do some research on him. So the ether, the computer, okay? Don't put ketchup on there because the ether will know if it's ketchup. That's a, no, that's you can't fool, you can't trick. You can't trick. You can't you can lie to people, but you can't lie to yourself, and you can most definitely cannot lie to the creator. Like everything that's going in here that you're thinking, that you're spewing, everything, everything is being recorded. Everything. You can't lie to the creator. Only those of pure intentions, of real intentions, will make it out of here alive. I've seen a lot of, uh, there's lots of videos, tons of them with the blood over intent on their, um, on their page four years ago. And that's the only, that's the only video they have. They don't make no Holy Grail videos. They don't, nothing. It's like, what happened to them? Did they fall off? I guess they fell off. They probably didn't understand it. They just did it just to do it or I don't know. But everyone needs to come together. I get it. What Mark was saying. Make Holy Grail videos. This message needs to be pumped out there. It should be, like my friend Michael says, on the radio, on the newspapers, on everywhere. Like, Holy Grail motherfuckers, come on. 